Jess, Robert. I'm Jess. My name is Laura. I'm Olive. London is a really big city. It's the capital city of England. There are lots of great things to do and London history is really fun to learn about. Well, there are lots of museums in London. The Natural History Museum, the British Museum, the V&A, the Science Museum. And they're all brilliant. Something that's really famous about London is Buckingham Palace. I try to make the guard laugh sometimes. They never, ever crack a smile. There's lots of scary places like the London Dungeon and the London Bridge Experience. I reckon the best thing for kids is the South Bank because there is lots of shows, markets and lots of restaurants. The River Thames and there are lots of buskers, tape galleries. Another good thing is the London Eye. You go up and you can see the whole of London, all of London. I really like to go to the London Zoo because there are loads and loads of animals. My favourites are obviously the giraffes. Madden Two Swords. My favourite waxwork is Hulk because it's really, 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 really big. Nelson's Column is right in the middle of Trafalgar Square and there are four lines around that you're actually allowed to climb on, so that's brilliant fun. The Tower of London is really good. They kept people who were going to get killed. Duck tours are amazing. A sort of bus, then it turns into a boat and you drive straight into the River Thames. It's Ripley's Believe It or Not, this amazing museum that tell you really, really amazing and obscure facts. It's really cool to go around London on a double-decker bus and you can go on the tube, you can walk, you can cycle. So there are a lot of ways to get around. I think kids all over the world should come to London because it's a great city and you'll never get bored. London is awesome! Well, I'm sure you've heard of British weather, which is pretty terrible most of the time, but today it's actually quite nice, so... Historic Castle, Royal Palace, Family Home. Windsor Castle, the longest continually inhabited castle in the world, official residence of Her Majesty the Queen and destination of a million visitors each year. Down this hill and it'll be on your right hand side sir. Just 23 miles west of London, the castle sits on its striking hilltop site, a potent symbol of the British monarchy. Built by William the Conqueror in the 11th century, Windsor has since been home to 39 monarchs. Each shaped the building to their own tastes and needs, and their legacy can be seen throughout the castle. Perhaps most notable was George IV, who in the 1820s gave Windsor its famous skyline, 
almost doubling the height of the castle's iconic round tower. And as kings and queens had done before him, George IV created magnificent new rooms, but his remain the most dazzling of all. In 1848, Queen Victoria opened the state apartments to the public. They are Windsor's most impressive rooms. Furnishing these splendid interiors are some of the greatest treasures from the royal collection, assembled by kings and queens over the last 500 years. From old master paintings to tapestries, porcelain, furniture, even a royal doll's house and armour. As you can guess by the size of it, this suit belonged to the larger-than-life King Henry VIII. Windsor Castle is home to the Order of the Garter, Britain's oldest order of chivalry, and its annual ceremony is held at St George's Chapel. The Garter Star and the Order's motto can be seen all around the castle. Here in St George's Hall, the shields and armour of over a thousand garter knights decorate the walls and ceiling. In 1992, a devastating fire swept through the building. It took 15 hours and 200 firefighters to bring the blaze under control, but some of Windsor's rooms were reduced to burnt-out shells. Five years later, a multi-million pound and award-winning restoration project returned the castle to its former splendour and even added completely new interiors. Today, Windsor is one of the world's few remaining working royal palaces and the setting for grand ceremonial and state occasions. A national monument, Windsor Castle tells the story of a thousand years of British royal history like nowhere else and is enjoyed by visitors from all over the world.